Hello everyone, welcome to English class. Students, hope you are busy half the day listening to your classes and the other half the day quarreling uh, with your siblings. And if it is between sisters, it would be daily, it would be every day like a daily serial. Am I right? Students, quarrels between siblings would be very much interesting to the viewers because they start over with small petty issues with great intensity and uh, they rise to their peaks and gradually they would be weakened by their love and affection showered upon by each other. And sometimes they don't even remember why they have quarreled. Am I correct? And it is quite common in every house. And this is what our poem, The Quarrel, talks about. The quarrels between siblings, how they end up and how uh, the love and affection it is, uh, it is showered upon by each other to end up the quarrels and who takes the initiative. And that was all uh, about uh, the quarrel, the poem, Quarrel, written by Eleanor Fadjian. Eleanor Fadjian. She is, a, uh, she is uh, an English author of children's stories and plays, poetry, biography, history and satire. And uh, some of, uh, she won many literary awards and the Eleanor Fadjian Award for Children's Literature is presented annually in her memory by the Children's Book Circle, a society of publishers. So she has written many books, many stories for children especially. And now let's see, let's go on uh, uh, reading this, reciting this poem. I quarreled with my brother, I don't know what about. One thing led to another and somehow we fell out. The start of it was slight, the end of it was strong. He said he was right, I knew he was wrong. We hated one another, the afternoon turned black. Then suddenly my brother thumped me on the back and said, Oh, come along. We can't go on all night. I was in the wrong. So he was in the right. So let's see what the first stanza tells us. I quarreled with my brother. I means here the poetess Eleanor Fargian. She quarreled with her brother. I don't know what about. She don't even remember what about uh, they have quarreled. One thing led to another and somehow we fell out. We fell out means there was a disagreement. They came into a disagreement. I don't know what about. I don't even remember because one thing led to the led to another. So one thing led to another. That quarrel was not about a particular uh, issue. One thing led to another. So she couldn't remember for what they have quarreled. And somehow we fell out. So somehow we started quarreling. We fell into a disagreement. And the start of it was slight. Slight means here small, modest. The start of it was very slight. It was modest. The end of it was strong. The end of the quarrel it was violent. It turned to be violent. He said he was right. I knew he was strong. So he said he was right. Her brother he said he was right. For what they were quarreling he said he was right. I am correct. But she knew, she knew he was wrong. Her brother was wrong. No, he was not uh, on the correct side. He was wrong. He was, uh, he did something wrong. He was wrong. And we hated one another. The afternoon turned black. So they hated one another. When the quarrel, it became violent. They hated one another. And the afternoon, it turned black. Turn black means it became, it turned unpleasant. It was not pleasant. And they had the long faces, hated, anger, all this. Uh, this. Then suddenly my brother thumped me on the back. Then suddenly what happened? Her brother thumped me on her back. Thumped means hit. Her brother thumped on her back, hit. And here you can tell patted, patted with love on her back and said, oh, come along. He said, oh, come along. Let's move on. Let's, uh, let's get move on. Let's end up this quarrel. We can't go on all night. So we can't continue this quarrel till night. We can't go on. We can't go on like this with anger, disagreement like this 
all night so there should be an end we need to end this quarrel because it turned unpleasant and i was in the wrong so finally he agreed that he was in the wrong so he was in the right though he agreed that he was in the wrong here he was right because he agreed he was wrong as he agreed he was wrong he was right he was in the right so the poet as she felt her brother was right by agreeing he was wrong as he agreed as he agreed or as he uh, said as he admitted he was wrong he was right so finally he thought that i should not continue we should not continue this quarrel so it, it goes on like this so quarrels between siblings they are, they are not at all they start uh, over petty issues very seriously but they won't be continued somehow they end up that is because of their love because of their affection because of their concern and caring between each other over each other i hope you enjoyed this poem and you might have recollected the quarrels between you and uh, your siblings right so here are some words the meanings of some words the uh, phrases like let's see fell out to express different opinions about something often angrily turned black to become unpleasant as they quarreled that afternoon it turned black thumped hit or patter and come along get a move on get a move on okay so i hope you enjoyed the poem and recollected so students uh, if you are if you have quarreled with your brothers or sisters don't take it seriously end up this quarrels with a smile that shows your love and concern towards them okay thank you for now meet you in the next class